Hello again, it's Buffalo66. I have another handicapping video for you. You may know me from my Twitter page, Buffalo Hold'em. And we also post these videos on Ocelot Sports. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like. Well, we went 2-0 and yesterday. And for a change, we're up for the week after a, a few bad weeks. Uh, we're 3-1 and going into Wednesday. And uh, we got a full schedule of Major League Baseball. Uh, we have some uh, day games. And uh, I got three plays I'm looking at, and I'm going to basically turn it into one play. But uh, we have the Nationals visiting uh, the Brewers, and we have the Nats as a one-run favorite there. And we have the Tigers visiting Texas Rangers, and we have the Tigers as a 2.25-run favorite. And finally, the A's are at the Mets at, at uh, City Field, and uh, we have that as an 8.75 total. And Vegas has it at 7.5 for a swing of 1.25. So let's go to covers. And let's take a look. I'm going to start with the, the A's and the Mets game. I really like the over there. However, the weather doesn't look good. And delays uh, or a shortened game, I'm just going to pass on that game. Uh, if, the, if the weather clears up, I, I would take over 7.5 there. Uh, let's go to Washington and Milwaukee. And this is a pretty straightforward pitching matchup. You've got Steven Strasburg, who's pitched good, but not super. And you've got Marco Estrada, who's given up uh, 24 home runs in 89 innings pitched. So you've got uh, uh, somebody that uh, just gives up the long ball in a hitter's park. And I've got the breakdowns here. In Strasburg, uh, last three, he's pitched decent. Away, he struggled a little bit. But in day games, he he's very good. Only two home runs in 26 innings pitched. By contrast, you've got Estrada who's 3-2 at home with a 4.6 ERA, but at day games he also struggles. So you've got about a good run differential there. And uh, if you look at the uh, last five splits here, you're going to see the bullpen is extremely leans towards the Nationals. So I like the Nationals in this game. And the other game we're going to look at is Detroit and Texas. Detroit's going for their sixth win in a row. Uh, they beat up on Texas last night. It's Anibal Sanchez, who's pitched great this year against Joe Saunders, who hasn't had a winning record since 2009. And he's really just a stopgap measure for them. He's the kind of guy that's, you know, he's going to be that 4.5 ERA guy all the time. So uh, you have to like the Tigers' chances here. If you look at the last five, they are just crushing, averaging six runs a game versus righties or lefties. The Tigers' bullpen has me worried, which is why I didn't want to take this on the run line. But I like... Uh, the Tigers to put up enough runs to win here. And the Rangers seem to be struggling uh, scoring runs. So we like the Rangers on the money line. I'm sorry, I, the, the Tigers on the money line and the Nationals on the money line. But since they're both kind of heavy favorites, what uh, I decided to do was parlay these two together. So we have the Nationals money line and the Tigers money line parlayed together. Pays a juicy plus 192 and uh, hopefully uh, things will go to plan, and that will come in for us. So our only play today, Nationals, money line, Tigers, money line, parlay. Let's get this winner, and we'll see you again soon with another video. Enjoy the games.